Thanks, Matt. How do you feel about heading up to Alice Springs? Yeah, look, really excited about the opportunity, actually. It'll be my first time heading up to, to Alice, and I've heard great things about it. Obviously, the weather's going to be interesting for us, especially us Kiwis in the team. We um, could be in for a bit of a surprise, but look, really excited to be taking, I guess, the Adelaide Strikers team up to, up to Alice Springs. Are you happy with how you've been heading in this tournament? Yeah, no, not too bad. Probably a little bit frustrated with the inconsistencies, I think, in my game. I think it would be nice to be scoring a bit more regularly, but look, we've got a great team on board and, and it's great to see that different people are stepping up. I mean, you just have to look at that last game and see Tabitha Seville, you know, match-winning match innings and, and, you know, we've got a, a really good depth in the squad at the moment. How exciting was that game? Yeah, uh, well, now looking back on it, it's easy to say it was exciting, but I think at the time, I think a few nails were lost and a few yeah. grey hairs, but... Yeah, look, it's great for the team, great for the culture to know that we can win those really tight games. Had you given up at any stage? No, 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 not at all. It's, it's funny to say that because we actually spoke in the, in the debrief after the game how we had that belief that no matter where we got to, if we took the game deep, there would always be a chance. Yeah. Um, and we knew that whoever was in there could do a job, and they did just that. So, great opportunity to, for both the teams to sort of spend a bit of time together. You share tactics with the guys, and conversely, do they come up to you and you know, pick your brains about a few things you've experienced in international cricket? Uh, yeah, a little bit. Obviously, with the scheduling, it can be pretty difficult to sort of find that time, but this is really exciting to be able to go up together, and I'm sure we will bloody be picking each other's brains apart and, and asking a few things about not only the wicket, but also the heat and how they handle it, and also just general tactics and things. It's always exciting to sort of learn from some of the world's best. And the tournament's been pretty impressive. What have you taken from it so far, from you know, like an overall standpoint? Yeah, look, it's, it's amazing how this, this competition just keeps growing. I think I've been involved from the start and it, I'm just amazed that it just keeps getting bigger and better. Um, and I'm really honoured to be a part of it. I think the women's game's in a great shape at the moment and it is a big thanks to Cricket Australia and this women's big bash. It's been fantastic for a lot of players and we're seeing now the standard of the women's game is improving too. I mean, you only have to look at the opening weekend when 242, I think it was, for the Sydney Sixers is the highest score in any big bash game, men's or women's. So I think that's really exciting times. With the guys team, we've seen sort of ball rescue the bat a couple of times. The bowling attacks are probably where the strength is. For the girls, do you think there's a, a balance there between um, bat and ball and, and where the strength lies across the board in the competition? Yeah, I think so. I think if you look at the men's stuff and it seems to be leg spinners are, are playing a really key part. And I think spin's always been important with the women's game. Um, but yeah, I think it's amazing how one day, you know, bat's completely dominating and the other it's a ball. So I think that again, it, it's testament to the skills that are on show by, by both men and a woman. Do you have any time in the schedule to go and have a look at the outlet? Yeah, I actually think we've got a cultural tour, which I'm quite looking forward to. We don't get much much time usually to be able to go away and get away from the cricket pitch, so I'm really looking forward to that. What do you make of the scorches this weekend? So if it's a very tight table, particularly between second and fifth, we're sitting third, they're sitting fifth. Um, you know, what kind of challenges will they bring to the Yeah, group? look, we know that the Perth side have always been a really strong side throughout the competition, and we know that we're going to have to be at our best to to beat them this weekend. They've got great depth in their squad. They've got some real um, match winners. I mean, Elise Villani and Catherine Brandt are two, two big players for them, so we know that they're going to be really key. But again, we know with our tactics and our, our plans, if we execute right, we'll, we'll, be, we'll be okay.